The argument for DCC tends to be the quality of low speed running. This also depends to a small degree upon the quality of the locomotive itself. Uh, obviously most of the newer locomotives uh, do have low power demand mechanisms that run very smoothly. So uh, it's almost a given that uh, if you want the best low speed running you're much better off with uh, probably a loco that's uh, not much more than about uh, 10 or 12 years old. Uh, here you see an example of a, a 280 crawling around pulling quite a sizeable load. Uh, okay most of them are empties uh, and in fact uh, every single one of these wagons, including the brake van at the end, if we get that far, uh, are all made from kits. Uh, so, uh, so yes, this is why some of us claim that uh, we would never go back to analog uh, because of the just quality of the lower speed running. Uh, yeah, for passenger trains at mainline speeds and things like that, absolutely nothing wrong with uh, analog. But if you do shunting or you want to move something very slowly, uh, I'm afraid uh, this is probably what you need to do. And not as if this is a fancy DCC outfit, actually. This is being run on uh, a Hornby Select, quite an old Hornby Select that I've had for many years. Uh, may not be much good for sound locos. Uh, it's not as convenient as certain other control systems. But uh, you can't deny that it... Uh, it does the job and it does uh, pretty much everything that I want it to on this particular layout.